So this video shows how to calculate the actual size of a specimen. There are two ways to do this, depending on what information you've been given. If you've been given the magnification and you've been given the image or been given the image size, then you can use this equation, but you need to rearrange it first before you put the figures in. So you multiply both sides by the actual size, your actual times the magnification equals the image. And then you need to get the actual size on its own on one side of the equation. So you divide both sides by actual. So it comes out actual equals the image size divided by the magnification. Some people prefer to use triangle to work that out. For that, you think of I am. So you've got image size on the top and then actual size times magnification on the bottom. And then you cover up whatever you want to find out. So in this case, we want to find out the actual size. So we cover that up and then we're left with image divided by magnification is what we need to do as a calculation. So in this question, the cheek cell has been magnified by 2000. What is its actual size? So we've been given the image. So we need to measure the image size. So we do that with a ruler and we measure it in millimetres. So in this case, it's 120 millimetres long. The appropriate size of cells is, for the units is going to be in micrometers. So the best thing to do to make manageable figures is to convert this into micrometers at this stage, but you can actually convert um, the actual size to micrometers at the end if you prefer. So the image size is 120 millimeters. We multiply by a thousand. to get that into micrometers as so 120,000 micrometers is the image size. Then we put that into the equation. So actual size is image divided by magnification. So the image size of 120,000 divided by 2000 magnification gives 60 micrometers of actual size. The other way you might have to calculate actual size is if you were given a scale bar and you're not given the magnification. So here you've got how long is the cell? So that's asking what is the actual size of the cell? And you've got a scale bar up here. What this scale bar means is this length of the scale bar on the image represents 10 micrometers of actual size. So on here, 20 millimetres of the image represents 10 micrometres of actual size. Okay, but you don't have to use the magnification equation for this. What you need to do is find out, first of all, how many scale bars long is the image. So to do that, you measure the length of the image in millimetres, so in this case 120 millimetres, and you measure the length of the scale bar in millimetres, in this case it's 20 millimetres. So you do 120 millimetres divided by 20 millimetres equals 6. Okay, so you probably wouldn't be given um, whole numbers but um, this is just to illustrate it really. So you can do a little bit of a check. You can say, right, okay, so this is one scale bar long. How many times does that fit into the image? And you can see there that it is six scale bars long. Okay. Then you multiply the number of scale bars by the size of each scale bar. So you've got six scale bars of 10 
micrometers um, natural size long each. So you do six times 10 equals 60 micrometers of actual length. So remember the units, include the units for so whatever the scale bar unit is, is going to be the same units for the actual length. One way of thinking why you don't need to use a magnification calculation if you're given a scale bar is if you think about a map, you do the same sort of thing. So on this map, we've got a scale at the bottom. So here, you can see from here to here is one kilometer. So 40 millimeters on the image represents one kilometer of actual size. So you can see on the scale here, one kilometer is represented by this size on the image. So if we wanted to work out distance from Longner to Park Farm, oops, it's actually two scale bars long. So you think, okay, so from Park Farm to Longner, it's two scale bars long. Each scale, represent, scale bar represents a kilometre, so that is two kilometres actual distance from Park Hall to Longner. Okay, but say if you wanted to work out the actual distance from Longner to Netley Old Hall Farm, you'd measure um, the image in millimetres and you'd measure the scale bar in millimetres and see how many scale bars long it is from Netley Old Hall Farm to Longner. It's not going to be an um, obvious whole number. So Longner to Netley Old Hall Farm is 115 millimetres on the image. Each scale bar, if we measured those on the bottom, each scale bar is 40 millimetres. So Netley Old Hall Farm to Longner is 115 divided by 40 millimetres equals 2.875. So it's 2.875 scale bars long from on the image from Netley Old Hall Farm to Longner. And then each of those scale bars represents one kilometre. So the actual distance is 2.875 times one kilometre equals 2.875 kilometres. So that is much easier and less likely to introduce errors in different stages of the equation than if we used the magnification equation. So remember, if you're asked to calculate the actual size and you're given a scale bar, you don't need to use the magnification equation. You need to work out how many scale bars long is the image by measuring the length of the image and the scale bar in millimetres and dividing the length of the image by the length of the scale bar and then multiply the number of scale bars by the size that each scale bar represents. And then the units of the actual length are going to be the same as written on the scale bar.